สวัสดีค่ะเพื่อนเพื่อนตอนนี้เรามาที่ลอนดอนบริดจ์นะคะฐานเข้านะคะตามเรามาเลยค่ะวันนี้จะแชร์ความจริงกับคุณคุณลอนดอนบริดจ์ถูกสร้างขึ้นในปี1830และสังเกตุการณ์ที่ทำให้ทะเลสาบในลอนดอนอังกฤษทำให้ทะเลสาบมีความเปลี่ยนแปลงและส่งเสริมให้ทะเลสาบมีความเปลี่ยนแปลงและส่งเสริมให้ทะเลสาบมีความเปลี่ยนแปลงและส่งเสริมให้ทะเลสาบมีความเปลี่ยนแปลงและส่งเสริมให้ทะเลสาบมีความเปลี่ยนแปลงและส่งเสริมให้ทะเลสาบมีความเปลี่ยนแปลงและส่งเสริมให้ทะเลสาบมีความเปลี่ยนแปลงและส่งเสริมให้ทะเลสาบมีความเปลี่ยนแปลงและส่งเสริม And as much as an inch a year, they were saying. So the city of London determined that they were going to sell the bridge. In 1958, McCulloch purchased 3,353 acres of property of the east side of the lake along Pittsburgh Point. The community there started out in the beginning as the Army Air Corps rest camp called Site Six during World War II. The Dixie Bell paddle boat. You go on a cruise with that too. <clears throat> Just imagine, though, this bridge being completely disassembled, piece by piece, and brought overseas and reassembled back here. And this is really kind of in the middle of nowhere in Arizona, Lake Havasu. It's it's, it's only famous for two things basically. Spring break is like one of the number one places to come for spring break, 
and the London Bridge. Hey, can I be on your GoPro? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the kids wanted to be on. <laughs> just amazing how they put it all back together here. Yeah, it's pretty nice compared to yesterday. I mean, it's, it's obviously I still have to wear my coat because it's a little bit cooler than I thought. But it's still better than yesterday. It's not raining, sun shining. I bet this was pretty at night. was going to sail from the UK to the US and it was negotiated to pay for all the voyages operating costs in return for carrying the bridge of stones as cargo to the US which was far less than what the going rate would have been the new ship transported the bridge in pieces through the Panama Canal and unloaded at the port of Long Beach California from there the bridge was transported overland to Lake Havasu where reassembly began in 1968. On September 23, 1968, the bridge's foundation stone was relayed at the reconstruction site in Arizona. The original stonework was used to clad a new concrete interior structure. The reconstruction took slightly over three years and was completed in late 1971. ลอนดอนบริดและนะคะสูงมากเลยค่ะค่ะบอบดีเดินนำหน้าไปแล้วนะคะไปฟอลโลยูเย่ไปฟอลโลบอบบี้กดจุดสเตย์ลอนดอนบริดเอาสุดท้าย Oh my goodness. Oh, a lot of... Because of McCulloch's thoughts about bringing the bridge to Lake Havasu, it then ignited the growth of Lake Havasu and people from all over started wanting to come there and buy property and turned out that McCulloch made a brilliant move. So it 
what we're bringing you here today is what has come of his brilliance. We hope you enjoy this story. I don't know if Rain can see or not. Oh, here it is. Stand here. Stand here. Baby, stand here. 